solve the equation 8 sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta minus 1 equals 0. So in this particular example, we let the trigonometric function sine theta equal x. And so if I were to replace sine theta by x in the equation above, I'd get this. Therefore, 8x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. And now, hopefully, it looks like a familiar quadratic equation to you. Note that the right-hand side must be 0 for us to be able to apply the quadratic equation. So if the right-hand side is not 0, we need to make it 0. And then we just solve the quadratic equation as normal. And remember, when we solved it, that x is actually the sine of theta. So then we can work at what theta is. And look for values of theta between more than 360 degrees. So if you care to have a go at that, then you can perhaps have a look at this work problem afterwards. So the quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And in this particular example, a equals 8, b equals 2, and c equals minus 1. So putting those values into this quadratic formula to get x equals minus b, so it's minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a times c. But if we look at c, c is negative, so minus times by a minus will give us a positive, so we end up with plus 4 times a, 4 a to 32 times c is 1, so we get 32 all over 2a to 8 to 16. So x equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 36 over 16. Square root of 36 is 6. So x equals minus 2 plus or minus 6 over 16, which is uh, minus 2 plus 6 is 4. 4 over 16 is a quarter. 4 minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8, minus 8 over 16 is minus a half. So x equals a quarter or minus a half. But remember, x is sine theta, so therefore sine theta equals a quarter or 0 0.25, or sine theta is minus a half. So, therefore, theta is the inverse sine of 0 0.25, or theta is the inverse sine of minus a half. So, theta equals 14.5. Or minus 30 degrees. So now, looking at these values, 14 and a half and minus 30, we've got to look for values of theta within the range that we're allowed, north and 360 degrees. So we go to our sine wave, which is here, and we've got minus 30. So minus 30 is going to be round about here somewhere. And plus 14 and a half around about here somewhere. So now we look for values of theta within that range of naught and 360 degrees. So minus 30, we extend this along here, we're actually up at that angle and that angle. For the 14 and a half, 
were interested in the 14 and a half, but also this angle here. The one over here is actually beyond 260, so we're not interested in that one. So now we can work out from the symmetry of this wave what these missing angles are. So if we look at this, minus 30, minus 30, we're going back 30 degrees from 360, which is 330. So we can say this one is 360 minus 30. Which is 340 degrees. This one, we'll again, look at the symmetry. We're at 180 plus this distance of 30 degrees. So 180 plus 30 is 210 degrees. And 14 and a half. This distance here, 14 and a half, then we need to go back 14 and a half in this way. So 180 minus 14 is 166. So 165.5. So we've got one, two, three, four angles that lie within our range of 0 to 360 degrees. If we think about this problem, just before we leave it, why are there four solutions? Four solutions to this equation. It's to do with this rotation. So if we think about our answer, we've got sine is 14 and a half degrees. So if we look at the first one, 14 and a half degrees takes us to about here somewhere. Um, but that sign, which gives us 14 and a half degrees, another sign tells us this side here. Then, if you look at it, there's actually another angle which is 180 minus 14 and a half, which is actually where we got this angle from here 180 minus 14 and a half. If you look at the um, other angle, which is 210 degrees. So 210 degrees gives us this particular angle here, but so also does this angle here, which is 360 minus that, 30 degrees. So you can see from the rotation how we get more than one solution.